Good day, this IT2. Welcome to our third installment, our third module of our subject, ITPE1. So our lesson for today is about repetition structures. Now, first things first, we have to answer the question, what loop may look like? So as you can see here, a loop look like an inverted eight. So what does a loop imply? It implies infinity, continuity, relevance, or it looks like number eight, but it's inverted. So what are the looping statements? A loop executes the sequence of statements many times until the stated condition becomes false. So a loop consists of two parts, a body of a loop and a control statement. The control statement is a combination of some conditions that direct the body of the loop to execute until the specified condition becomes false. So the purpose of the loop is to repeat the same code as a number of times. Now this is a sample loop. You can see on the diagram that it has a start, a condition which depicts a diamond and a condition statement has true or false implication. Just like in the example, if the condition is true, then the, uh, there will be an execution of the while statement block code and going back to start. If not, then the code will be executed outside the loop and do the block statement. So the first thing is, or the first loop is the while loop. What is a while loop? It is a test condition that is given in the beginning of the loop and all statements are executed till the given Boolean condition satisfy when the condition becomes false. The control will be out from the while loop and then the while loop is probably the simplest. The while loop simply executes a block of code as long as the condition you have given is true. Just like in the syntax, you can see a while condition with Boolean condition, then the start of the code, loop statements, and then the end. In our activity number six, you are given to solve or to encode the while loop and then execute the answer. Then you're going to upload your answer, your, your um, print screen on our Google Classroom. Number two is do while loop. So this is the opposite for the do loop, which looks like the while loop in other aspects, but the do loop evaluates the condition after the loop has executed, which makes sure that the code block is always executed at least once. So unlike for while loops, which tests the loop condition at the start of the loop, the do while loop checks its condition at the end of the loop. So it's check the condition after executing the statements. You can see here in our do while loop syntax, you have a do statement, then start of the loop, then statements, and the while condition. For our activity number seven, you are given the chance to solve or to encode the do loop, do while loop, and then afterwards upload it to our Google Classroom. For for loop, the for loop is a bit different. It's preferred when you know how many iterations you want, either because you know the exact amount of iterations or because you have a variable containing the amount. A for loop is a repetition control structure that allows you to efficiently write a loop that needs to execute a specific number of times. So for loop has similar functionality as while loop, but with different syntax. For for the for loop are preferred when the number of times loop statements are to be executed is known as the beforehand and the loop variable initializations conditions to be tested and increment decrement of the loop 
variable is done in the for in the for loop while providing a shorter easy way to debug the structure of the looping this is evident for our syntax so as you can see you have the for the initialization the condition and the increment and then the statements after that it is ended with a condition in our activity number eight uh, there will be an illustration for for loop demo you are given the chance to solve for activity number eight and upload it to our google classroom now for each loop this is a looping in a programming language uh, that is in a way to be executed a statement or a set of statements multiple number of times depending on the result of the conditions to be evaluated so the resulting condition should be true to execute statement within loops the for each loop is used to iterate over the statements of the collection so the collection may be an array or a list so it executes for each element present in the array for each loop when working with array and collections to iterate though, uh, through the items of array or collections the for each loop iterates through each item called for each loop it operates on a collection of items for instance uh, built-in list types now the syntax is for each loop you have the for each then the data type the variable name in collections and other variables then the start statement the body which the statements are to be executed and of course the end statement will be ended with a, a close brace on activity number nine you are given the chance to encode for uh, for each loop and then upload it to our google classroom the last uh, um, topic is recursion so it is a function that calls another function that is normal but when the function calls itself then that is a recursive function in the recursive program the solution to the base case is provided and the solution of a weaker problem is expressed in terms of smaller problems so the process in which a function call itself directly or indirectly is called recursion and the corresponding function is called as recursive function so using recursive algorithm certain problems can be solved quite easily now the idea is to represent a problem in terms of one or more smaller problem and add one or more base condition that stop the, the recursion as shown in our syntax it would be evaluated with a probability for recursion on our activity number 10 you are given the chance to encode recursion and upload it to our Google Classroom. Now, in summary, looping in a programming language is a way to execute a statement or a set of statements multiple times. So depending on the result of the condition to be evaluated to execute statements. Remember that a looping statement is a series of steps or sequence of statements executed repeatedly zero or more times satisfying the given condition which is to be satisfied the purpose of the loop is to repeat the same or similar code a number of times this number of times could be specified to a certain number or a number of times could be dictated by a certain condition being met remember that if the condition is met then the program is executed right away so i hope you've learned something uh, for today and hoping to see you soon. Thank you Semper Fidelis